Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to our Python programming series. Today, we're gonna dive into the usage of try and accept statements in Python. Let's jump right in. First up, we have the try and accept statement. This particular control flow and the structure comes in handy when programmers are dealing with sections of code that might possibly raise exceptions. Think of a scenario where you're fetching data from a website or calling an API. In these cases, there is a possibility of the server being down or the API not functioning as expected. In these situations, try and accept statements are a very valuable tool. Here's a simplified breakdown. If the try block encounters any errors during execution, the control gets passed over to the accept block. To illustrate this, consider the following example. We start with try. And then inside of the try block, if name is greater than three, print hello. Since we haven't defined name, Python is bound to throw an error. Now we can handle this error with our except block. Except print an error was detected in your code. Please check your code. Now, if you run this code as anticipated, the output will be an error was detected in your code. Please check your code. This is because Python identifies the error, which in this case would be undefined name, and that was in the try block, so it proceeds to the accept block because it caught an error. To put it simply, the try and accept concept is very similar to an if else statement. If the try block executes successfully, everything proceeds as planned. However, at any point in the try block, if an error occurs, Python immediately switches to the accept block. Let's quickly summarize what we've just covered. In this tutorial, we've dived deep into Python's try and accept statement. This structure helps handle potential exceptions by attempting to execute the try block, and in case of any exception, move the control over to the accept block. This was an overview of try and accept in Python. Thanks for listening, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.